All right, so here we go. This is how my day starts. The day of an MSK radiologist. It's just getting into the faculty parking lot. Pretty boring parking. And due to the recent coronavirus outbreak, as you can see now, the parking lot is pretty much empty. But usually it's very full of uh, cars. And if you get here after eight in the morning, well, you won't find any parking. All right, uh, so here we are. This is the Oak Room faculty lounge. So we're just uh, gonna get a small coffee here with the coffee machine. It's nice that our hospital gave us some coffee. So it's like endless coffee and also a soda machine, which I don't use. And also we get to have here some uh, water. Uh, and some juices so in the morning uh, we come and eat some breakfast here but more important than anything is to be able to drink this coffee you know it's the most important thing to do drink coffee uh, like most radiologists we work in a dark room and this is my corner here in the MSK world with our packs and dictation system and um, here we all evaluate the images and do our dictations. Also, we um, answer our consoles for procedures and stuff. So, here we go. No acute radiographic osteoarticular abnormality period. Incidental note of bilateral, incidental note of bilateral made lungs deformity period. Obviously, didn't understand make long, but that's okay. It's my accent, I have a bad accent. Here are with the amazing nurses. Yeah. Nursing station, we're in a mask because of the crisis. <laughs> you cannot even see us. There you go. <laughs> These are all the patient stations which are empty right now. It's a miracle. <laughs> Why such a miracle? Can you guys tell me why such a miracle? Why are the stations empty? Right. I want an answer. We are. We're just so efficient, Doc. That oh, okay. We have the next wave coming down already. Oh, okay, I see. We are the most efficient department in the world. Yes. We don't even have patience. <laughs> so here we are with Teresa. She's the board runner. Hey, Teresa. Hi. And she also makes Jelly, which I don't know how we're gonna eat it because we have masks. Right in the line that is here, the policy. There is Raquel, oh, hold on. our fluoro expert. <laughs> she helped us with all the injections. Hey, say hello to my little friend. Hello, my little friend. There you go. She's working hard trying. What are you doing? <laughs> and this is Barrett. I don't know what he's doing either. Uh, Fluoroscopy. Fluoroscopy, there you go, yeah. fluoroscopy. And, and, uh, and I am I'm looking up um, some different medical gels to make up some phantom models that I want to make. So I found these different gels over by Humic Medical and I was looking at the different phantoms that we have and I think I can make a better one that has different like textures in it. So you're, you're, we're inventing stuff here, yeah, right? We're inventing we're stuff. Gonna, we're gonna yeah. do patents and all that. I wanna make it move. I'm not gonna tell you how though. Well, you know you're all doing this all the time now. So, no difference here. Ooh, ooh. The smartest guy in the yard. Some sclerosis period. Oh boy. Look at this, the dark room. Dark room. Welcome to the dark side. <laughs> right shoulder, four views. Five slash nineteen slash twenty nineteen. Not available. There is a distal, non united, clavicular fracture, period, diacrimic clavicular joint, and coracoclavicular interval remaining in anatomic alignment, period. There are multiple. What are they looking for me? Uh, say. Come on, come on. <laughs> Scratch that. I don't understand why this thing doesn't understand my accent. I think Power Scribe is racist. I heard it understands Indian accent. What? It doesn't understand. 
Puerto Rican accent. Yeah. Scratch that, scratch, scratch. I think she doesn't have a request, but. Hello. Hi, thank you. Hello. Yes, how you doing? No problem. So, um, so I went up the, uh, right like at 11. I went up to fluoroscopy and I went also to um, talk to our board runner and we have we couldn't find a request for the for the fluoro guided aspir I mean injection. All right, so a quick stop in my clinical office. Uh, this is where I do my academic and administrative work and some of my simple research that I do. Um, it's next to the reading room for me, thankfully, so I stop here if I need to write like a long email that I need some uh, quiet time or sometimes in, with the computer here I get to uh, review some cases and uh, if I have to call the physician, if it's a procedure that we may do or may not, or even diagnostic studies I may do from here. Um, it's kind of a little quiet space, so I stop here, I just came here too. Use that little fridge, have some uh, snacks there. So I just came to get some snacks, but this is where- As you can see, we still have a negatoscope, which is where we used to see the old style radiographs. We still have some of that, um, even though we don't use that too often. So my reading station and cubicle with a bunch of uh, boring decoration, painting that my daughter did for me. RSNA certificate of something. Quote of the month. How do you how you do anything is how you do everything. Some motivation there. Some more of my daughter's stuff. So it's the MSK reading room. All the stations from the university hospital. And because we're in MSK, you can't miss this obviously. Ooh, MSK rules. Lunch with Mariam and Boris. And Boris was He's leaving. Are you oh. coming? Yeah. Okay. Boris is over there. Supposed to be coming. We need the orthopedic surgeon to come here. Stop. Breast surgeon. Orthopedic Stop. surgeon. Stop. Hey man, there's Stop. Boris. You can't see him. He has a face mask. It's alright. <laughs> it's lunch time in the old group. Boris is on a diet. Eating what is that? A little salad. Mariam, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> I had a salad and a sandwich. <laughs> the exercise was well, sandwich and a salad for losing weight. Scratch that. Okay, yet again, we do this over and over. Getting our hands clean. Did you know that we have a beach here right in the middle of the hospital so as you can see we are in Tahiti this is how we roll here in the University Hospital in San Antonio you do an MSK procedure and you get to hang out on the beach well something is something right I mean what else can you do scratch that <laughs> so this is our kind of like a green area in the hospital I like to come here to um, sometimes relax between cases or obviously as a radiologist when you get tired of being in a dark room, uh, you can come here and get some sun in the winter, it's really nice. This is out Texas of course in the summer, it's too hot, that's the university health. So um, I like to come here, it's just a little bit of a green space, uh, 
have a lot of trees and of course some chairs that you can also eat lunch. Here we are in the gardens of uh, the hospital. So I'm taking a little break. Uh, it's uh, mid-afternoon. We just finished some arthrograms and pain injections in the spine and in the joints and we are leaving a, a long biopsy kind of for the end of the day like at 3.30 because it's a pediatric patient and it requires anesthesia to come in and do what they do and it's a special case patient needs for samples uh, metastatic disease and it's going into like a special study so we're leaving that to the end of the day um, so in the morning we've read maybe around 85 uh, diagnostic studies and some simple procedures and then of course lunchtime. And then usually for us in MSK in the afternoon they we get the CT for the procedures usually in the morning IR is using them. So in the afternoon we do a lot of the procedures and we actually have to finish up the list of uh, radiographs, MRIs and CTs and all that. So. But definitely uh, in the afternoon, the diagnostic load is much less than what it is in the morning. So we have several needles that we use in, in bone. We have the osteocyte, which is the one with the handle. We, we use this the least, but we still use it. It's a very good needle. And um, for bone, we also use the bone opti, which is this needle here. Um, oops. Here in the bottom, this is the extended drill, uh, the bone opti system, and um, which is probably what I'm going to use with this kid because it's a three year old, and uh, this is the smaller needle that we have here, this uh, bone opti. And then we have the uncontrolled system, which you guys know comes with this big old trace, and um, it comes with the biopsy, and the uh, down here will be the uh, bone marrow aspiration. and. I'm sure you guys seen this because this is this is everybody loves this needle because there's a drill involved and for some reason people love the drill here with Griselda hi hey what's up this is the Not city much. tech yes. and we're gonna do this case Danny B is in there but first we gotta look at the images of the patient that's right what would you like to look at? Am this I one? smiling? Who knows if I'm smiling? <laughs> Those wrinkles on your forehead don't. Oh, look the like wrinkles? Are you calling me old? No. Look at this woman calling me old. Um, I'm the old one. All right. Let's get ready. Here we go. Organize. Oh, Aprons. Let's door. look at this yeah, one. I so I, I think Ooh, it's fire. This is for the fiery people. People who really do like killing, they're killing it in IR, they use this apron. I mean, yeah. totally. Of course, my wife is like, well, she it has your personality. <laughs> okay. And what is this that you're putting in here, Dr. Gomez? It's formalin. It's formalin. It's formalin, and what are you dropping in there? A little core bone, very small because it's a small kit. So I'm here with my friend, the headless friend of MSK Radiology. Say hi, what's up, headless friends? Even his arms are like hanging out. 
So we finished that uh, kids biopsy and it took me a little longer than usual because uh, they wanted four samples due to an experimental treatment so they are going to send those samples somewhere else. Also the metastasis was chlorotic in such a small bone uh, we have and using a bone opti which is human power no drill here uh, took me a while to get in the bone at four different places but um, uh, back to the reading room here with uh, Mr. Headless Man and floating arms and we're gonna try to finish up that list so obviously we can uh, get to go home it's uh, around 5 30 so hopefully it will take me uh, an hour to do that okay uh, so here we are again uh, in the reading room kind of with the light on we usually read with the light off but um, it's gonna read a few studies here with the light on so I don't feel like I'm in a cave it's almost the end of the day just trying to finish up this list after finishing the afternoon procedure so right right radiographs dated 5 slash 8 slash 2020 There is no abnormality in signal intensity within the bone marrow period. There is no significant elbow joint effusion period. There is no intraarticular loose body period. There is no cartilage defect period. There is diffuse thickening and intermediate T to signal intensity at the common. All right, so um, it's probably gonna be loud here. I'm in the faculty parking. So um, we're done for today. So I ended up doing seven procedures today and around 120 radiographs and CT scan and diagnostic studies. So I had two residents with me. It was a fun day. It's around 6.05. So I'm um, a little bit busier today, especially with um, the pediatric patient and the anesthesia logistics. I usually take a little bit longer than usual, but um, that's it. It's pretty sunny. 6 o'clock in South Texas is probably the hottest time of the day. It's still quite nice, but in July is going to be extremely hot. So uh, that is it. That is uh, a day.